What, what, what's up, Pokey fam? Welcome to today's video. My name's Isaac, I'm the Pokeman. And happy Pokemon Day, everybody. I don't know if I'll be able to get this video up on Pokemon Day, but hopefully you had a great Pokemon Day and Pokemon Week. Lots of awesome announcements. Definitely lots to be excited for this year. In today's video, I'm doing an opening of two of the greatest sets of all time, Shining Fates and Hidden Fates. I'm kind of doing a pack battle against myself. So we're going to vote in the comments who you think's gonna win. Pikachu on the Shining Fates side of things, or is it Raichu? So drop in below on the comment section who you think is gonna win this pack battle. Guys, there's so much going on in the Pokemon world right now. Lots of announcements dropping, lots of hype with Logan Paul, lots of craziness, and I've wanted to cover a lot of this stuff. But on top of all of that, it's just been utter chaos in my life with school and work and all that jazz. But anyway, we'll talk about that as we're pulling cards, and let's get right into it. Which one should we start with? I'm gonna go with the Raichu tin. Hidden Fates. I've been wanting to pull this, uh, open this up for some time now, uh, but I have been waiting for the right time to do it. And this is it. This is the right time. Um, but there is so much Pokemon news and so much craziness. Hopefully, you all have enjoyed the newest set, Shining Fates, and been able to get get your hands on some. Still no news about when the second wave of Shining Fates is going to drop. But it's just utter craziness out there. All right, so Raichu GX. You guys can have the code card there. <laughs> and here's the four Hidden Fates packs. One of each, meaning that this probably came from the uh, first wave of Hidden Fates. Maybe the second wave. But the first wave, you are guaranteed one of each pack art. So, anyway. Uh, and then I'm just gonna pull open this as well. And we'll go back and forth about, how about that? All right, so now I got everything out of the Shining Fates box. This is the first Pikachu V box I've ever opened. So we're just going to look at this jumbo Pikachu card. <laughs> I love this. It is so vibrant. Pikachu is a vibrant, vibrant Pokemon anyway, but this card just makes him look Pretty spectacular. How about that? And then there's the mini version of it. So there they are. So if you guys don't know, Pokemon also released a bunch, started releasing their 25th anniversary jumbo card set. The first one, I believe it was a Pikachu. That's one that you can pick up. Depends on if your store's carrying them, if they were able to get any. <laughs> uh, I haven't been able to find anything yet, but I see them posted online. Um, so this is the start of of all the jumbo card sets and it comes with a jumbo card binder which actually I'm almost more excited about the binder than the actual jumbo cards because I have a lot of jumbo cards that I am excited about and would love to have some place that stores them pretty perfectly. Alright so here we go we have the Raichu up top and we have Pikachu on the bottom. So are you team Raichu or are you team Pikachu? Uh, I'm not going to tell you which team I'm on we're just going to see who wins so we're going to jump right into the first Hidden Fates pack here with the shiny Mewtwo artwork. So Shining Fates has been out for, I don't know where to put these now, uh, for a couple weeks now. And actually, has it just been a week? It's just been a week. <laughs> Feels like forever. The first one's a, Wist, a Misty's Water Command. Um, and so some of the pull rates are, are coming out. It seems like the big hitters, we pulled all three of like the biggest hitters <laughs> on day one in my first video, which was the shiny Charizard V Max. If you haven't already, go check out that video because it was awesome. I just kind of lost it there <laughs> right on camera, but it was so much fun. The other ones are the Skyla card and the Eternatus V Max card. And those seem to be the top three pulls and we pulled them all. It within two elite trainer boxes. So super excited about that. And you guys should be too. Hopefully you guys have been able to find some product and get some awesome pulls. Let me know if you've been able to find that Charizard. The pull rate right now is uh, projected and they're just kind of rough estimates. Uh, but what I've heard is that it's about one in 250 cards, something like that. So maybe not quite as rare as other Charizards 
There we go. That's an awesome reverse hollow. And a Mew. Always love a good Mew. But there's so much craziness. All of the Pokemon games, you have the Arceus Legend. I think it's just called Arceus Legends. Or uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. There we go. Uh, but that one's going to be really cool. A game that is has Arceus as the focal point. He's one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Man, we're not doing so good on either box, so <laughs> maybe it's going to just be a, a really crappy opening, but we'll see. Uh, but the one that I'm super excited about, again, is the Pokemon Snap game. That game looks fun, and I still have my N64, and I play, um, I play that game still today, like the old Pokemon Snap. So, <laughs> so much fun. And an Onyx GX. Okay, we'll take that. So far, Team Raichu looks like it's in the lead. But we've got some fire coming up with the VMAX Charizards. Can we get some fire out of these packs? I need your guys' luck on this. Because I may have just run out all of my luck already with the first opening on Shining Fates. And then we may not even see anything uh, anymore for that. But we'll see. But yeah, the new Pokemon Snap just looks... Oh, there we go. Dracloak. Shiny and the rare is the Mega. Okay. We got our first shiny. Shabbity diggity. Um, but anyway, Pokemon Snap. Looks awesome. Hopefully I can figure out how to do like a, a gameplay. I'm still new to the whole... Um, just content creating in general. And so trying to figure out how I would do gameplay. If you guys have any tips for me, go ahead and, and uh, do a little teaching <laughs> of the Pokemon in the comments section. Let me know how you guys do your streaming for gameplay, because I think it'd be awesome once Snap comes out to do uh, something like that. Oh, I just totally passed that, and I'm throwing cards everywhere. We had a Quagsire. Shiny, shabbity diggity, that's great. That is really good. Cool. So there we go. We got one pack left. <laughs> oh, last one. We can do it. We can do it, guys. We had a really good response to the last video. And we are now up to like 300, I think it's 315 subscribers while I'm recording this video. Let's do one guess the energy let's do lightning for Pikachu for my boy Pikachu here oh uh, okay um, but I appreciate everybody who has responded to the channel in general and if you're new here subscribe to the channel like this video become part of the pokey fam we are the most positive community on YouTube we really are you guys are awesome I've had the privilege of chatting with some of you guys and uh, just some of the best people. Pokemon fans are like the best people ever. <laughs> Not joking. Okay, but there we go. Let's do a quick recap. We have Team Pikachu, and that actually might be the, the coolest card that we pulled for me. <laughs> I love that Pikachu. And Dracloak is awesome. We had a shiny hit there. Raichu GX. Team Raichu pulled the Reverse Hollow, or Reverse Hollow. The Holographic Energy, uh, Psychic Energy, Onyx GX, and the Shiny Quagsire. So, let me know in the comment section who you think won today's pack battle. Was it Team Pikachu or Team Raichu? There's a strong argument for either one. <laughs> but thanks so much, guys. Love you all. Stay safe out there. Be excellent to each other. And happy hunting. <laughs>